So, four years have actually come to an end, and it's time for us to actually rate the performance of those who are leaving power, and then also rate those who are actually trying to come into power. By what metrics do we rate these people? What are their agenda? These are the terms Nigerians are supposed to be writing down. You promise A, you promise B, you promise C. If you fulfill it, look at President Buhari, promised power, he promised 5,000, he promised security, he promised hellfire, he promised heaven, he promised this and all that. What has he done? So you will see a man who said he ran a transparent government, uh, government and if he has offended anybody through his decisions, he should be forgiven and the many stuff. So there are many things that are actually going on right now. Because we talk about issues like uh, Amishi who has served the governor and all that saying that his ultimate goal is to actually um, do what? Make heaven. And it's a very, very good one when you see a governor trying to make heaven. Oh, it's a very, very good one. Heaven is here. Heaven is here for the governor. So he said his ultimate goal is actually to make heaven. What a wonderful place to be. Heaven. So, on the judgment day, we will know if he will make heaven or the channel of deceive us. He said he's born again at that time. And that all APC members are born again. Has not never taken a bribe? Okay. Well, let's see what becomes of uh, that issue. And then we have the case of Austin Okosha. The high courts have actually released um, an arrest warrant for him and they should arrest him. I don't know. Let's see how he comes out of this case. It would not be good if a one time celebrated uh, um, footballer is shown in jail because of tax evasion and uh, the many stuff. So let's see what becomes of uh, JJ Okosha and, uh, in the near future. We wish him the best. He's one of the Nigerian best. And then moving on in the news, we have the deputy chairman of the um, All Progressive Congress has asked the national ruling, uh, who was his name, Oshomule, has asked him to actually um, step down. This is the Shomule is the chairman. The deputy chairman is saying, please step down. Why? Why is he saying step down? You, you, you see the video that was trending online where, uh, let me play it for you. Right. Even the worst of them, like the Shimoles. So this is the video. Our greatness as a nation is not as a result of our population. Neither is it the mighty military, or is it because of the crude oil that we have, or is it because of our political parties and what we practice? Our greatness lies in the family spirit with which you have handled the affairs of this neck. I feel like a member of the family. I look at my left and look at my right. Even the worst of them, like the Shimoles and, uh, <laughs> and um, Erufais. <laughs> Even within this, I still feel as members of family. And this people I've mentioned, Mr. Chairman, I do not know why you share one thing in common with them. In common with them. <laughs> May I request you to distance yourself henceforth? <laughs> yeah, he was basically talking about um, the need for people like Buhari or Simba Jones and the rest of them to actually distance themselves from two people in the party. He made mission of Oshomole and he made mission of Erufai. So, if the deputy speaker is, uh, deputy, deputy chairman is coming out to say, please distance yourself away from these guys. I think there is something wrong with these guys. They are sowing discord. We saw what happened in Zamfara State. We saw what happened in Imo State. And different, different other states in position of candidates and in many, many styles. Um, it's not something that actually makes someone to be actually happy um, this is what makes... now we will not be able to end this news without talking about something that's going on and now the last time i talked about Ramali and uh, the yahoo steps and all that there are people who, who came up to me some of them said i don't believe and all that so everybody's entitled to their own opinion but and all that so efcc has actually uncovered a school right now they, they even have a proprietor and they have students it's called the school of yahoo yahoo so this school is a school where a 22 year old boy called Shinedo is the one actually running it, he's a proprietor. 
if he has a student Ahmed Musa when Ahmed Musa himself is the one playing football but this Ahmed Musa his son is not to play football his son is to do yaw yaw Ahmed Musa you have this month Eze, Priya Kinsley, Benjamin Rabot, Benjamin Opa, Akabo Prosper, Owelo, Innocent Paul, and Olamide Edo. So they are involved. These are them. They are involved in the Yao Yao school. So they've been arrested now. Can you tell you the, how far people are going now? They are not. They even have a school. They even have a school. They have a school before. Just that like this AFC on court with them. So, guys, we want to end the news here. What do you think of the past governors who left? What do you think of those governors that will be coming in? What do you think of President Buhari? He said the last time people are calling him Baba go slow. He said people will be shocked at what he's going to do. Let's see what becomes of this president. So, guys, thanks for staying with me and bye for now.